next person, this is Sarah Wolsey, Wolsey from Palomas Youth, at Youth Activities Club. She said the Philomath Youth Activities Club, and we've been around as a nonprofit since 1989. We started out as a um, summertime baseball organization and recognized pretty quickly that there was a need for youth activities in Philomath, being such a rural town with lots of kids that were running around not having a place to go. Um, in 2001, we were able to build a actual youth center, a clubhouse, similar to like a boys and girls, what you would think of when you think of a boys and girls club. And we have three main areas of programming. We do most of the youth sports for kindergarten through eighth grade in Philomath, as well as, like I said, we have the drop-in clubhouse program where also our offices are housed. Um, and then we do a state certified child care after school program and a summer day camp program as well. And so the three programs that we have asked for funding this cycle um, all have to do with our clubhouse program. We've asked for um, healthy youth center snacks for, that's for our clubhouse program. Um, we've asked for $7,500. That would be money to provide um, 50 snacks per day. For, so for 50 kids at a, the cost of 75 cents a snack for the 200 days a year that we're open. Um, that would be a new program for us. We haven't been able to do that in the past. Um, right now we have vending machines with candy and sodas and um, We've actually talked about the, to the vending companies about maybe if they could provide something else in their machines, and that's not something that they're interested in doing because it, it won't, it doesn't sell <laughs> according to them. So we're just trying to explore options on what we could do to get um, something healthy for the kids for after school. Um, and I don't, I don't think I said at the clubhouse we serve fourth, fourth through eighth graders. We get. We have about 110 members and on average about 50 a day come at a time. And the next program that we were looking for funding is the Youth Exploratory Career Program. And that's something that we have done in the past, um, but we haven't had funding this past year. We like to hire um, a high school student to come over and work in our clubhouse, serve as a mentor, an activity planner, um, they're the person that can actually plan activities and get in there with the kids and do the activities. Um, right now, I'm the only adult that works with the kids after school, so we're pretty understaffed. Um, and that's just due to budget cuts, due to the way that the economy is right now. We've had to um, eliminate the other position, the other adult position. And so having a high school student come in is actually something that's very meaningful to our program and it's very meaningful to the kids because that's somebody that they love to connect with, it's a role model for them and, and just somebody that they really look forward to hanging out with. Um, and the next is our summer youth center program. We historically have been open for uh, six hours a day during the week, during the summertime. And unfortunately, uh, it's one of the programs where we get a little bit lower attendance and we think that maybe that's because um, because we're not able to be, we can't afford to be open all day, and so not all kids, you know, the kids that we serve are kind of at an age where some of them it's maybe okay for them to stay home alone, a lot of them it's really not the best thing for them to be doing, but they're at that age where it's kind of a transition time. So um, one of the things that we had to cut two summers ago was that program. We were just closed during the summertime because we didn't have the funding. So last summer we got funding from the United Way. And we were able to be open um, 11 to 5, Monday through Friday, and we were able to serve those kids. Um, we can join up with our summer day camp program and go on field trips and take them to places where that they don't normally get to go, that their family either can't afford to take them or doesn't have, you know, 
the time and the resources to get them there. So we go, you know, swimming, um, like to the water park, to Enchanted Forest, to the zoo, to different places like that. So while we do serve a few less, we do serve less kids during the summer, it's really the kids that need a safe place to go. Um, that would be kind of just wandering around um, on their own <laughs> without, without supervision. So um, that's what we're looking for. I feel like I try to put a lot of information out really quickly. So <laughs> please, if you have questions. OSU tends to have a lot of programs in the summer. Have you ever tried to connect with one of those and have like a Paloma site? Well, we do. I didn't. I didn't say anything specific. We do have a summer day camp program that's administered through our club. Um, it takes place at one of the schools, and it's a certified daycare program. So it's um, certified through the state, and it's childcare for kindergarten through um, fourth graders. Okay, so these are the kids so, that are in that fourth grade that you're talking about. Yeah, we're talking oh, okay. about the in between age where legally they can stay home by themselves, but you know, m probably not a good idea for them to do that all day. So we do have a really great um, day camp program that's similar, similar to what OSU and Parks and Rec does. does. each year, especially the past few years, our scholarship requests have been going up, um, and so. Have you ever asked the paying parents to donate snacks for the kids, healthy snacks for the kids? You know, we, ha we haven't done that at this program. We, we do it at our Safety Town program, but that's just a one-week program, and everybody, almost everyone, is actually able to pitch in, so. Yes, we're seeking funding to employ one high school student. So it's to pay that school. So it's to pay them basically minimum wage to um, to be trained and to work at the youth center 15 hours per week. So they would work, um, you know, during the afternoons. It could be depending on funding. That could be maybe their hours could be altered or it could be altered a little bit. Where is the youth center? We are at 421 South 19th Street, and we're um, next to the Clemens Primary School. The what? The Clemens Primary School. How many do you serve, and were you able to serve in the summer? We served about, I think we served 50 youth altogether. We served more, our goal was 40, we served more like 20 a day. Um, and that's just. If I understood correctly, you think if you could stay open longer, you would serve more. That is really my opinion. That's my opinion of what why one of the reasons why we may not serve as many during the summer as we do during the school year per day. Um, you know, I can't say that I know for sure. Our goal would be still to serve 40 kids a day. Well, that's part of the problem. 